welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm so excited to be sharing with you a glam look i love creating a glam look so one of my favorite looks to create so i hope you have just popped some eye tapes on because i prefer using eye tapes when i do my eyeshadow i just find they make it so much nicer and it just gives off that really nice sharp edge at the corner in this glam look i am going to be using some new makeup products that i have recently just bought i brought these new eye makeup brushes from Morphe the other day on the Black Friday sales they were literally like £8 I already have these but I thought I would get some more because I do use these a lot for the creation side of my makeup so I thought I would buy some for some normal makeup glam just a four piece eye brush set from Morphe I honestly love Morphe it's one of my favourite makeup brands and I just love their eye brushes as well because it's really easy to apply the foundation on it has also come with an eyebrow brush as well literally love the packaging of Morphe as well for my eyeshadow palette I'm going to be using one of my new eyeshadow palettes that I haven't used before and that is the iconic London eyeshadow palette it is a mini one I got this in a Christmas gift set it was only £15 and it had a mascara in it as well I thought this eyeshadow palette was so cute and I'm really excited to try it because I love all of these neutral shades and the glitters. I just love the brand Iconic London, it's so good. I will be using this other Morphe brush for the base of my eyes first and then going in with my other new brushes. I'm going to start off with this really dark brown and then I'm just going to pass a little bit there and I'm just going to put this all over the top of my eyelid. I feel like some eyeshadow palettes to start off with are so pigmented and that's what I love about this eyeshadow palette. I'm thinking about doing like a halo eye because I haven't done a halo eye in such a long time and halo eyes are one of my favourite eye looks to go for. So I'm literally just going to put the dark shade all at the end and drag it around the top. I'm going to leave the gap in the middle for a lighter shade. So far I am loving this iconic eyeshadow palette. I've now taken my other brush from the set as you can see this is a little smaller brush i'm just going to use this lighter shade and i'm literally going to pat it all here on the lid of my eye like this so it creates that nice little halo shade the darker shade around here and then the lighter shade on the lid For my glitter, I'm thinking about using this light glitter just so it keeps the halo shade because I don't want to get rid of that nice shade. I'm going to pop the glitter on the light a bit as well. Just so it's a little bit shimmery but not too in your face with the glitter. I love that glitter, it's a really nice shimmer. I am also just going to put a little bit of eyeliner on. For my eyeliner, I'm going to be using the Iconic Eyeliner. I literally love this eyeliner. It lasts on for the longest time and it does not budge. It comes with a thicker side and it also comes with a thinner side. But I'm going to be using the thinner side because I only want a little small wing. I don't want a really big winged eyeliner. This is the thick side but I am going to be using the thinner side. And I'm literally just going to put it on the ends of my eyes. I do not want the eyeliner to overtake the eyeshadow. I'm 
I'm just going to sort of semi match the eyeliner. I am also just going to take this and then I'm going to get my other Morphe eyeshadow palette and just create a dark underneath the waterline. I'm using the Meredith Morphe eyeshadow palette which is one of my favourites. As you can see it is well loved. And I'm literally just going to use this darker shade and just put it underneath my waterline. I have just also put some false eyelashes on. The false eyelashes that I've been loving are the Building the Looks eyelashes. I literally love these lashes. They're so good and perfect for a natural glam and literally obsessed with these. I have just taken off my eye tapes. This is my eyes completely done. I'm now just going to put some mascara on the bottom of my eyes. I'm going to be using one of my new mascaras and that is the iconic London mascara that came in the Christmas gift set. I'm so excited to try this because I haven't actually used it yet and I have been loving the Sky High mascara but I'm going to try this mascara. I just love the packaging of Iconic London, it just looks so good. The applicator for the mascara is also really good and easy to apply. I really like that mascara I feel like I want to try it without the lashes as well and I will be trying this over on my beauty tiktok account the eyes of the glam makeup is now finished I love the way the eyeshadow turned out I'm now going to be sharing with you guys my favorite part of the glam makeup and that is my face makeup I have actually changed a little bit of a routine of the way I do my makeup for a glowy makeup I really like to use all of the Charlotte Tilbury skin prep products instead of the primer now and when I'm doing just like a normal everyday makeup I will use the primer but the Charlotte Tilbury skin stuff makes it look so more glowy and glam. I'm going to be starting off with using this Charlotte Tilbury Magic Night Cream for the base before I put on my foundation. You can use this as just a normal night cream but recently I've been loving using it as a foundation base before I put my foundation on. I just find that it works so well and it just leaves your foundation on for the longest time as well and it also just smells so nice. It's just so nice and refreshing. I literally love all of the Charlotte Tilbury products, as you'll see, because I mainly basically just use Charlotte Tilbury products. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Water Mist. It's so good and it mixes so well with the Charlotte Tilbury for this filter. I do want to get a bigger version because I am run out of this one almost because I literally use it every single day. It just creates such a nice shine to your foundation and it really does give off that nice water mist glow. I do also use this, it's the Glow Toner by Charlotte Tilbury, I love this, it smells so good. I'll literally just do that and then blend it all in. It just smells insane, I honestly love the skin prep of Charlotte Tilbury, it's just a really nice smell. I do put quite a lot of this on because this is what gives off that really nice glow as well. I am just going to be popping on a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Glow Primer. I have been doing this recently for a glam. To blend that in, I'm going to be using one of my favourite sponges and that is the Coco Cosmetic Sponge. I do not know why I have not used this when it first came out because I am literally obsessed with the way that this blends in your foundation. I was actually supposed to get um, some more from Sephora when I went to London last weekend, but London was honestly packed. Like, there was a queue to get into Sephora so I can actually get some more of these sponges. So I'm gonna have to get some online. I did also just buy a few new makeup bits from 
Harrods as well because I was running out of a few things that I needed to stock up on so I will show you what I have brought when I get to at that point of my face makeup. For my foundation I'm going to be using one of my new favourite foundations at the moment and that is the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush for this foundation. I'm literally obsessed with this. I'll put a tiny little bit on the back of my hand and I'm just going to blend that in with my Coco Cosmetics sponge again because I just love the way that it blends out. It's honestly such a good foundation and it's not too full coverage as well. I just love it at the moment. Now that my foundation is all done, I'm just going to pop a little bit of concealer under my eyes. I have been obsessed with using the Maybelline concealer. This is my second one that I'm going through because I just love this concealer. I'm just going to pop a little bit of that underneath my eyes and I'm also going to blend that out with one of my favourite brushes and that is the Ariel brush. This is so good to blend out concealer, it just blends out so well. I'm just going to pop a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter on and then some of that water mist and you can see why it has been one of my obsessions. It's literally so good and just gives off that nice glowy, dewy look. I'm not going to blend this in yet until I have mixed it in with the water mist. I'm now just going to get my water mist and put that next to the flawless filter like this. It just creates the nicest glow. I'm actually going to blend that out with my Ariel Morphe brush because it's so good. Look at that shine that it gives off. It's just the flawless thing ever. It's amazing. I can't honestly rave about this enough. I just love it. To set all of my foundation and all of that fun stuff in place, I'm going to be using my new NARS powder. I did get this from Harrods at the weekend and I have been wanting this for the longest time because I was always using the mini version and this is the bigger version. I'm literally obsessed. It is the best powder and it honestly lasts it on for the longest time and just gets rid of all of them creases. I'm going to be using the Trigwell Cosmetic Powder Puff. I literally love this powder puff as well honestly it is so good and it just sets your makeup in place the way you want it as you can see it looks nice and smooth in the inner corner of my eye now and I'm just obsessed I also like to powder my nose as well because sometimes my foundation can get a little bit dry in that area. I am also just going to pop on a little bit of some contour. For my contour I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury contouring stick. I did get a new contouring stick from Harrods. This is a long awaited purchase because I've been waiting for this one to completely run out. This has lasted me so long. I love these little contouring sticks but this is what it it looks like, honestly love this. I'm not going to use this just yet because I still do have actually a little bit of this inside. I've just been holding off using this because I wanted to wait until I got a new one because I love this so much. It's honestly the best, creamiest contour and I literally just put three dots down there and try and match. Now that my contour is all blended in, I'm going to be putting on some bronzer. For my bronzer, I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. It's one of my favourite bronzers to use. I'm obsessed. It just gives off that really nice bronzy look because it has a little bit of a tan tint to the bronzer. 
For my brush, I'm going to be using the Studio brushes. I literally love these brushes. They're literally like a pound and they are so good. My blush, I have been using the Dior blush. I've literally been loving using this blush. It has been one of my favourites to use. I'm using the Zoeva brush to use for my blush because it is so good. I do actually need to clean it though because it is pretty pink from how much I use it. I'm just going to be putting a little bit of the Dior blush on today because I have actually brought a new blush that I really want to try because I brought it at the weekend when I went to London. It's just so effective, this blush. I'm honestly obsessed. I did get this Charlotte Tilbury blush from Harrods. I've been wanting this for the longest time, so I thought I'd just buy it. It just looks like such a pretty blush to put on your face. I'm literally just going to do that with my brush and just blend it. It is pigmented, this blush. I feel like it's going to be one of my new favourites. I am actually just going to get this studio brush to blend out because of how pigmented it is. I'm honestly obsessed with the pigment of this blush and if you know me, I love a good blush. It kind of reminds me of the Made by Mitchell blushes. For my highlighter, I'm going to be using this Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow highlighter because I really want that glowy look. As you can see, this is well loved. I use this every single day in my makeup routine. For my brush, I'm going to be using my little mini highlighter brush that I also got from Building the Looks Mystery Box. Honestly, obsessed with her makeup brand stuff. Literally love it so much. I'm just going to put this highlighter on all over my cheeks. It is so pigmented. I'm honestly obsessed with this highlighter. For my lipstick, I am actually going to be using this Charlotte Tilbury blusher, but you can use it as like a lip balm as well. And I'm just going to pop a little bit of that on because it just gives off the nicest lip combination. I am now going to finish this glam look off with the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush setting spray. I love using this, it's lasted me so long in this big massive tub and I use this literally every single day for when I do my makeup routine. It's just so good and it just leaves on for the longest time and just it smells really nice as well. This is the finished glam look. I hope you enjoyed watching how I created the glam look. I love how it turned out. I have just left my hair like this. I did put it in a French flat last night so it's just come out with natural curly waves. I hope you enjoyed watching this glam look. If you did please don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe and I'll see you again in my next video.